Now most brake boosters and reservoirs are mounted on the firewall and well I think it's just kind of ugly and I don't want that in this engine compartment. So today we're going to do something a little different. Now let's take a look at some of the parts we have. First we have a brake booster reservoir that we got from Speedway Motors that came in a kit with a firewall mounted brake pedal. We went ahead and got a chassis mounted brake pedal that we need to do some modifications to to get it to fit where we want. In order to do those modifications we got a nice slab of steel here. Of course we got to grind off some paint because we're going to do some welding and you can't go an episode without using the good old grinder. Let's get to it. Let's get this in here to test her out. Jeez. So this is where I'm thinking about putting it. But you can see that that's kind of somewhat close to this header. So I want to move the pedal closer to the chassis. If you go inside the cab, there isn't much room to put a brake or a accelerator pedal to the right of that. So I want to move this pedal three more inches to the left to make room for that accelerator pedal and give us some more clearance from this exhaust. How's it look right there? On the frame it looks pretty good. Appear, I mean it looks like it's about seven inches. Yeah, when we move it over we'll have to notch out some of that floor. So in order to make the adjustments we want, we're going to go ahead and slice up this foot pedal and move it over three inches using this slab of steel to bridge that gap. Alright Lee, you ready to do some grinding? I am not. That's why you came here today, right? Grinding? Nope. You're gonna do the grind. I'll do the welding. You do the grinding. See you, Jake. Come on, Lee. Come on, man. God, I thought you were going to catch it. I didn't think you'd get through it that fast. All right, let's get this thing marked up here. One and three sixteenths, Lee. One and three sixteenths, Lee. One and three sixteenths, Lee. I think you want to go three and a half here, don't we? Looks good. Three and a half. Three and a half. Just got to put it in my table vise. Can somebody please go into our description and become a sponsor of our channel so Jake, Jake can finally get a table vise? It's getting hot in here. Oh, do you see that? Oh, that's going to be nice. I should, uh, I'm going to grind a little out here and there to give it a little crevice so we can have some filler. We can fill it in, you know, filler, filler, filler in. Throw this on there like that, tack it in place here. Throw the other, throw the pedal on and then tack that in place and lay down some beads. I just want to make sure it fits first. And the... Oh, yeah, yeah, I suppose. We probably should make it fit first. Make sure it fits. Oh, make sure it fits first, yeah. There you go. There's a tack ski. This one will run one across there, huh? Kind of got a little off topic there, but so you're doing multiple passes. I want to say I dumped a lot of heat into it, that's for sure. There you go.
dumped a lot of heat into that one, I felt like, too. Let's go test fit this. Checking to make sure that there's a header here. That's what we're doing. <sighs> oh, dude. I don't even have it in there, and I love it. Look how close it is to that chassis, though. I think that's a safety hazard. I think we got to pull it back a little bit. Yeah. Maybe like a what a quarter and a half inch. Yeah. Oh, you're right, Lee. Shit, I was supposed to weld it right here. Yeah. I'm supposed to butt this on top. Yeah, you're right. Just got it in the moment, you know. Like this? Yep. Does that now look beautiful or what? I feel like it's got the perfect gap yeah. between the chassis and the header. Yeah. Let's yeah. melt some butter, baby. You ready? I'm ready. Have gotten some penetration there. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. If you think it'll break, <laughs> you get it. You get it. You get it. If you think it'll break. Oh, <laughs> oh jeez. Right? I just I don't get it. This is fun. This is fun. I get to weld. There, you got it all. It was fun. I like welding. Welding's fun. I'm a professional at it too. I went to a, at least one hour of YouTube class to learn how to do this. So it should break? <laughs> yeah, it's going to break no matter what, boys. <laughs> well, I tell you what, this thing fits up there so much nicer now. So, you know, if you think about it, I think it's got to go right where it's at right there. Try and cut this thing off quick. Look at that. Oh, look at that beautiful straight line. All right, Mr. Leroy. <coughs> what do you think? That's pretty good right there. A lot of, lot of good travel, too. A lot of, yeah, a lot of good travel. It would be nice if you could get down here and test fit that while I sit inside. Fresh cardboard. I don't even have to get dirty. Don't even have to get dirty. I don't. Have to get dirty. Are you recording this? Yeah. Jake, I'm the camera. Is this hot? Yeah, here. Put these gloves on. Ah. Oop. <sighs> I think I like it right there, though. What do you think, Leroy? You want to scribe that or something, or? Scribe what? Probably grind off the paint first, huh? Well, you want to? I could probably, I could probably scribe it here. And then... I gotta grind the paint off first. So I'm gonna grind your scribe off. Mm, I'm a pretty good scriber. Well, you know who else is a good scriber? <laughs> Whoever made it this far in the video. <laughs> Guys, hit that subscribe button, and then the bell for notifications. Because you're a good scriber, like Leroy. That was pretty good, wasn't it? That was really good, Jim. That was really good. You're going to get paid a big bus someday. How's that, boss? You want to hand me the pedal? Yeah. This is right, Scott. Big love you. Thank you. Oh, she's still warm. What do you think about right there? That looks pretty, pretty good. Give me a, give me the what? Oh, I gotta grind the paint off this thing too. Yeah. Got about that, Leroy's. I'm gonna get some extra fabric here so when it hits here, it doesn't hurt the sparks. Got to go level on here to make sure we can uh, make sure it's up and down. But I think the next step, we're going to tag this into place and then put our brake booster on there.
see how well it fits before we go putting beads on this thing all the way around. It's good. It's good forward, backward right there. It's good up and down right there. Uh, all right, I'm going to get one more on there. Pretty straight up and down, too. Give me the booster. Good access Ooh. right there. Oh yeah, it's right there. Dude. Yeah. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm thoroughly impressed. And then we have this axle. It's going to come here and go down. We don't have much more travel with that axle, anyways. Oh. That'll clear it, won't it? Sweet. All right, well, let's finish welding that bad boy in there. I don't know how much of a fan I am of those welds, but I think they'll hold. towards the end here though but I couldn't see Oop. no 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 I want to get I want to get this thing installed and it connected here I don't know what the easiest way to get this thing in there is I like it though. I like it a lot. I like it. And it should really only travel like that much till it gets hard. Whoops. If you enjoyed this episode of The Roy Garage, you can check out the full playlist of this project and chassis swap in the upper left. Our goal is just to post our progress on our vehicles in hopes to inspire others to start working on theirs again. If that resonates with you, hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you next time on The Roy Garage. That was the lip of this.